New developments now at a Target 12 consumer investigation. A U.S. senator is now calling on the Federal Highway Administration to expedite its investigation into possibly defective guardrails. And yesterday, a Texas jury found the guardrail company made fraudulent claims to the federal government in order the company to pay $175 million in damages. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Hogan first reported on these guardrails in May and continues to track the latest developments, including reaction from the Rhode Island Department of Transportation. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation says it's going to take a wait and see approach before it decides whether it's going to act on the concerns surrounding these guardrails, despite the fact that a jury found the guardrail manufacturer defrauded the U.S. government about a design change that is alleged to have caused numerous deaths. On local state roads, you'll find them. ET plus and terminals like these made by Trinity Industries. Late Monday, a Texas jury found Trinity defrauded the U.S. government. Target 12 obtained this letter Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal has now sent to the acting administrator for the Federal Highway Administration, requesting specific answers to questions about the agency's handling of the guardrails. In a statement, Blumenthal says despite years of urgent warnings from states and individuals across the country, the Federal Highway Administration has continued to stand by the safety of Trinity Highway Products ET Plus guardrail device. Target 12 reached out to the Rhode Island Department of Transportation. A spokesperson tells us they are aware of the verdict Monday, but RIDOT does not have any data to suggest that the guardrails are posing a safety hazard to the motoring public. The case that wrapped up Monday in a federal courthouse in Texas was brought under the False Claims Act by a complainant who claimed Trinity Industries changed its design on its guardrails in 2005, but failed to inform the U.S. government as required by law. Those changes, according to the lawsuit, were significant enough to cause the guardrail to malfunction by spearing into vehicles instead of absorbing the impact of the crash. The heat is really on the feds. They're now going to have to start looking at this seriously in a way that they should have looked at it several years ago. Trinity Industries tells Target 12 it believes the decision cannot and will not withstand legal scrutiny. The company strongly believes the courts will affirm its position. Now, four states have already acted on concerns over these Trinity guardrails, including Massachusetts. State officials are taking steps right now to stop using them. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.